morning, everyone. Welcome to the Grand Rapids Area Library. Um, Grandma Nancy here with uh, our, our project for today. Um, I haven't seen you for a month, so happy summer. I hope you're having a great time swimming, playing ball, jumping on the trampoline, riding bikes, all those really fun things. Uh, today we are going to make a fun summer project. One of my favorite critters and it is a frog. It's a cute little frog that we're gonna be drawing and painting today. Um, I picked a frog because I've been seeing a lot of frogs. My grandchildren live uh, right by a little harbor that has a lot of lily pads, and you can watch the frogs jump from lily pad to lily pad. It's really fun. So I thought that'll be a great thing. Um, to do as a frog. At the Grand Rapids Area Library, there are a ton of books about frogs, on frogs. There's fiction, you know, really fun stories. There's uh, nonfiction, science-based stories about frogs. So when you come on down to check out books, look in the frog section. They'll help you there. So here we go. I'm excited about this little frog. Hopefully you've picked up your kit from the library. If you haven't, you can send a grown-up down and there are still kits available, so come and grab a kit. I'm gonna open it up. I just love doing this, seeing what is in here. I haven't looked. Oh my. So, inside you get two very nice pieces of watercolor paper. So you'll be able to do multiple frogs. You maybe can do a frog with me, and then you could do a turtle, uh, you could do a butterfly, you could do a dragonfly, you could do a scene with all kinds of summer critters. Um, so you have an extra piece of that. And then we have an extra just white piece, and that you can do, um, I like to use this for scratch paper. We'll be maybe testing out some colors because I actually mixed colors today, which is always fun to do. We can use this for a tester. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Oh my goodness. Nice. A big set. It's a set of 12 colors. Sometimes we have a set of eight colors. This is really nice. This is gonna give us lots of choices. Lots of choices on colors, I love that. And at the very bottom, we have two new crayons, a black one and a green one. So those will be fun to do our drawing. All right, well, I'm gonna get set up here, ready to go uh, with our frog, and you will wanna get set up also. You will need some water to clean your brush. You wanna keep a clean brush going. And if your uh, adult wants to cover the table area with uh, newspaper, this is a good time to do that and we'll be ready to go in a few minutes. All right, hopefully you have everything set up. Um, I'm all set up here, ready to go. So here's the frog that we're going to do. And this little guy is sitting on a lily pad. There's a couple flies in the air. We'll talk about making those details after we make the frog. We wanna concentrate on the frog being our main focus. So we'll get going here. Uh, you have a blank piece of paper. I use, I'm gonna use my paper this way. You're welcome to use your paper this way and you could make a couple frogs, but I'm gonna make my frog, just one frog, and I'm gonna make it like this. So I'm gonna look at my paper and look at the space. I want the frog to be fairly large, but I wanna save room. When I make this part, you'll see what I mean. I wanna save room so I can get those nice fat legs out there. And you can see these two legs are different. They're not exactly the same, um, but when a frog tucks his legs back in a sitting position, that's gonna happen. So it's all good if everything's not exactly um, symmetrical on this guy. So I'm gonna start with the head and I want it about up here, I like to use my hand to try to figure out where things should go. 
So my head, my body, that looks good. And I'm going to start, you can just kind of watch. I'm gonna make a nice slow line. This is gonna be my head. Nice slow line. Okay, now what I wanna do that's my little face. I just made this. I want to make this hump. It looks like a, almost like a camel hump. I come up, then I come down, and then I come up again. And that's going to give a space for his eyes. So I'm going to come up like this. And then I'm going to look over here. Yep, I'm doing fine. And then I'm going to come up like this. I'll bring this one down first. And then I'll bring this one down like this. So there's a up hump, an up hump. And now I wanna connect those. So I'll make a nice smooth line like that. And there's his face. Um, I'm gonna put the eyes in right away. Oh, by the way, I am using a black crayon. If you want to use your green crayon, you certainly may do that. I should have said that earlier. Uh, the black works w really well, but so does the green. So you can uh, switch to the green if you would like. And then I'm going to make, I'm going to do these eyeballs right away too, as long as I have my crayon up here. You can make him looking up, you can make him looking sideways. You can make him looking straight ahead, whatever you want to do. I think I'll go ahead and add the mouth also. We have a happy frog. I put these little lines up here so it looks like he's smiling. <laughs> okay, I like the head. I hope you like your head too. So now I'm gonna come down. This is his body. I'm gonna stop right like that and I'll You'll find out why in a second. And then I'm gonna come down. Here's his body. I left this open uh, because I'm gonna put his legs part way in his body and then the feet part will come off the body. And I didn't want that black line going through, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna make a leg. I'm gonna make a couple little toes. They're kind of flippers, you know. And then I'm gonna make another leg. He has webbed toes because he has to swim. So frogs really have long legs and you can decide what you wanna do, but I might wanna make these just a little bit longer coming up. A little bit longer. And then I kind of gave him, I went out a little bit. And I'll connect that. He's taking shape, isn't he? So now I want to make his back legs. He's kind of sitting on his bottom. So I'm going to make this back leg come out. And then I'm going to come down with it. So you can see that it's bent. These, when they're, um, when he's swimming, or jumping, they come straight out and they're really long. But when he's sitting, they're tucked in. And then we'll make a... There. Okay, kinda looks like a drumstick, doesn't it, from a chicken? Now I'm gonna go over here. And again, I talked about this earlier. It's, it's difficult to make it exactly symmetrical. So it's not going to be, but it will give you an idea, okay? Oh, he's cute, isn't he? Now, um, his body is green. This is a leopard frog. They're the ones with the spots. His body is green, but he has white on his belly. And I'm just gonna come down. I'm gonna go through that leg. That leg's gonna be in front. And you don't have to do that, you can come right above if you want. 
So I should have put a little bit more over. It's not totally balanced, but that's okay. Now we're gonna make the spots, and this time I'm gonna use the green crayon. And again, this can be outlined in green. You don't have to do it in black. I'm just gonna make some nice circles. And some of the circles, we're gonna do this way. You make it on the edge, and this part of the circle is behind the leg. So it's not a perfect frontal view of the circle. I like doing those. And there we'll make a little one right here. Make one right here. Uh, maybe this time I'll go here with a little bigger one. And then we'll make a couple little ones there. Um, on his body we'll make some. I'm gonna leave this part blank. Make some here. That's gonna come from behind there. And I didn't make any on his head on this one, <clears throat> but you're more than welcome to make some on his head too. All right, so you don't have to make a lily pad behind. You could just uh, maybe make some land and he's sitting on the water or whatever you wanna do there. I'm gonna make a lily pad, but I don't have a lot of room to make a lily pad. And if you know anything about lily pads, they're uh, usually oval shaped and then they have this little kind of a cut out of them. Um, so that's what I'm gonna just make this lily pad come down. And I like that little cut, so I'm gonna make that come up here. And then I maybe I can make it come down here. So I'm not making my full lily pad, but I'm just kind of thinking where it would go if that makes sense. So I started here and then I thought, well, it'll come out here, come around. That's how I'm gonna make it. And again, you don't have to do it. Um, the other thing is you can make a few little frogs, be or little, um, not frogs, little flies because frogs love flies. And that's really okay with me because I'm not a big fan of a lot of flies. You know, when you have a picnic and you have a lot of flies, they can be very annoying. And some of those flies bite, like the dragonflies bite. So I'm okay with the frogs taking those. It's a good little meal for them. And again, here you could draw <clears throat> um, dragonflies if you wanted. You could do a butterfly. So whatever you wanna do, I might do a butterfly here. So I'm gonna make it a little bit longer. And it has these three body parts. And then I'll make the wings. Now this wing is obviously gonna go off the paper. It would go here and then it would come back here. It's a matching wing. This one's gonna go off and it's gonna come back here. And that's the matching wing. Like little antennas. Okay, so I feel like I have enough on my frog and I'm ready to paint. So I'll let you get your painting set up. Beautiful colors, lots of great colors to work with today. And then get, um, get your brush out and get um, water. And I'll see you in just a couple of minutes. All right, are you ready to paint? Remember you want quite a bit of water 
on your brush. So dip your brush and, you know, let it get saturated. And then, because the paint is new, of course, uh, you'll put quite a bit of water on there and it's sealed, so you wanna break that seal and you can tell when it is ready. I'm going to start with the little details first and then I'm gonna do my background. Wow, look at that. That is a beautiful color. That's magenta and it is very pretty. It's a pretty color for a butterfly. This is a made up butterfly. It can be any kind you want. There are so many butterflies out there now. Oh my goodness, it's really exciting. You can be really quiet. If you see a butterfly land, be really, really still, really quiet and see if you can sneak up to get a close look of it. Don't try to touch them because they're, they're sensitive. They don't wanna to be touched a lot, but it's really fun to get a close view. And most of them have patterns on them too. So now I have an, oh, that's a nice blue. That's a very nice blue. Look at how colorful it already is. Okay, so now I'm just gonna let that dry for a little bit while I do other things. And I'm gonna come back to it and paint a couple little designs on the butterfly's wings. I'm making my dots yellow. You're welcome to leave them white if you want. There's actually white paint, you could paint them white. But I like the yellow. The yellow is such a nice, bright color. Isn't it? Love it. So I'll get this all painted up here. And... You can be painting while I'm painting too. And you don't have to really, really focus listening to me right now because you know what to do. So you can, we'll just, we're working together basically is what we're doing. You're working, I'm working. And even though we're not together, we are working together. So just, and you don't have to go the same speed I do. Ooh, looking colorful. Now it's really gonna look colorful because I'm also choosing yellow for his belly. And again, it's really white, but we want it to be bright. You could use um, a blue too, or you could use a lighter version of green. You know, whatever you wanna do. In fact, maybe I'll show you um, I'm going to do a little bit of mixing colors because I want a couple different greens. So I'll show you that now in a second. And then you can do that too. The crayon line helps keep the paint where it's supposed to be. <laughs> helps keep it in its proper place. Okay, so I have a lily pad and I have a frog. I'm choosing to do my lily pad green and my frog green, but the frog overlaps the lily pad, so I would like them different greens so you can actually see that overlap. To do that, I'm just going to take a whole bunch of yellow, bunch of yellow, bunch of yellow, doesn't look like it's much, but it honestly is quite a bit over there. So I have a yellow, and then I'm gonna open up my green, and I'm gonna take just a tinch of green and mix it together, and I'll test it. So in testing it, I see that I have a yellow green. I have a color that is not the perfect hue of green. It's a yellow green. It's kind of like a lime green. So that's the color I'm gonna do my lily pad. Now, if you do this, you have to, if you made a lily pad, that is, you have to be careful that you don't 
um, get on the frog, you want to keep that green a little different if you're doing greens. You could do the lily pad um, uh, blue green too. And you could even mix blue and yellow and green. You can mix all of them. Just test out your colors and see what works. I'm getting a little bit low. So when I make a new green, a new lime green like that, it might not be exactly what that is, but that's okay. See, it's a little bit, it seems like it has a little more yellow, but that's okay because it's gonna add texture to it if it's not the exact same color. Get around these feet a little bit. And again, that crayon holds my color in pretty well, doesn't it? Get this done. And that done. Okay, I like it. See, it looks just about yellow, but it has that little bit of green in it. Okay, now I'm gonna do the frog. And I am sticking with the frog. I'm sticking with the green that is provided there. And this is a, this is a pure green. Go around his eye. Some edge around the eye. Painting is really relaxing, isn't it? Good activity on a hot summer day. When you come in from outside and you're really hot, you just want to relax. And painting is certainly the way to do that. Okay, now I'm going to go to the body. I'm going to go to the body. We're going to paint the whole thing, by the way. I want you to paint the background, too, and we'll talk about that. I kind of mixed some colors because when I look at the sky, it's not very many days that I see solid blue. I often see other colors in there, especially if it's early morning. I might see some sunrise colors in it. And if it's in the evening, I might see some sunset colors in it. So I'm kind of hurrying a little bit. You're probably being more careful. And if that green runs into the yellow dots, it's okay. It's okay. Because mine certainly is doing that a little bit, isn't it? Bring your brush around. I follow that line. And then if I miss spots, I just go back and follow the line again. It's pretty easy to do that. Okay, so now this leg cross is in there and I want the green up there a little bit. So I actually moved green into that area. Remember when I decided to make the, his legs a little longer? And then here also. So that's fine because the colors can easily blend. Around, doo -doo -doo, around those toes. Just about have the froggy done. Okay, coming down. And coming down. Go around that circle a little bit. Around that circle. And 
and like that. Okay, so now I have my frog done. Only thing I'd have to do, and I'll just do that later, I might go and pick up some of those little white areas I missed. I'm gonna feel that, that's just about dry. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the background and we'll just talk about that a little bit. You can do what you want. I used blue, there's two blues here. Um, there's this blue and let's see, that's purple. Which is the other blue? I have to actually figure that out. That's kind of fun when you don't know for sure. I think this might, be, it looks like this is purple though. Ah, that is purple. So maybe I have two purples. Oh no, this one right here is blue. That's my blue, nice. Okay, so I used two different blues and I used purple and I had it fairly wet so it kind of ran together. And I like that when it blends together like that. So I'm gonna start with um, the bottom because that, he's on a lily pad so he's sitting on the water. So I'm gonna just use the regular blue for that. And this is where you could use your white. Let's try that. I'm gonna put it over here. Get a bunch of it over there. Cause I want it a little bit lighter and then I'll get some white over there too. You can see my white, I kind of, because my brush had blue, I got a bunch of blue in there. It's very easy to just run that gently in the sink and you'll get rid of that uh, blue on the white. Oh yeah, that's nice. So that's gonna be, I like that for my watercolor. Okay, that's gonna be the color of the water. And I'm just gonna do it in here. Get some more, water's gonna go up there. Where should I end my water? Okay, because I want my water to be a little bit different blue than my sky, so I can tell where the line is. Oh, that <clears throat> also needs to be, the sky's gonna be up here a little bit because that is part of my lily pad too, isn't it? And this butterfly is gonna actually be flying across the water, which is so cool too. So the butterfly is flying across the water. And this is how I'm gonna leave my water now. Oh, I like that. Now, the sky, I want it to be different. So I'm gonna try this blue. And I don't know if I'll be mixing anything with it or not. Hmm, looks different. So we'll do it. Oh, it looks a little bit the same, doesn't it? Let me see if I can, I'll go darker then. That's what I'll do. Yeah, there we go. Our sky is gonna be darker. So again, just play around with it. Whatever you wanna do, do. And I like it when um, it blends like this or it doesn't spread out evenly because that, that really is what the sky looks like, if that makes sense. I just spread it on there and it's gonna dry differently. It's not gonna dry the same in each spot because there's a lot of paint on it first and then the paint disappears so it gets lighter. Okay. All right. Go around these guys. Go around these guys. Do, 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 do. Just about out of that blue I made over there. Just about, but I think I'll make it, right? A 
Okay, now I feel like I need it to be a little darker. So did you see I added some of that blue? I'm just gonna add a little bit of that blue across there. I want it to be a little bit darker. And there he's done. One more thing. Remember I told you I wanted to add some designs on our butterfly? That's what I'm gonna do now. It's a tiny area, so I'm just gonna put some fun dots. Some fun dots. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed today and I hope you um, do a sweet little butterfly in your work if you want. Dragonflies are really cool to do also. The other thing is I do have, uh, you do have another sheet and again, a turtle would be fun, a loon, a monarch butterfly. When you're outdoors in the next couple days, just kind of look and see, you might see a bumblebee and um, then try to draw something that you see in nature. That'd be really great. Flowers from your mom's garden, that would be fun too. So enjoy, and it was really great to see you. I will probably see you next month in July back at the Grand Rapids Area Library.